What's up guys, Captain Blair Wiggins here from Addictive Fishing Television, 2018 iCast here in Orlando, and uh, I'm in the Getty booth of course. I'm going to show you something here that you need to get out and find before they go away. This is the gray color Yetis. They're going to be discontinuing this color right now, so if you get to Dick's and see this color and you like it, make sure you pick it up. Still have the original core colors, the uh, light blue, the seafoam green, and the good old chrome color. Now let me show you something really cool from Yeti. They've come out with a few new colors this year. This is a navy blue color. Still have the seafoam green. Have the brick red color, and I really like this. I actually picked one of these up today myself. And, uh, and the black, of course, down here. Something else really cool that you want to see is this new backpack. And there is nobody on the market that I know of that makes an absolute waterproof backpack. And if you look in here, it's tough, nice, tough zipper, good, strong rubber, and it's not gonna let any water get in there. You can keep everything nice and dry. Got a nice little pack right here. Put all sorts of stuff in there, and it's gonna keep your stuff dry. Wallets, keys, whatever. And also, one more thing I wanna show you. This is called the Tundra Hall Cooler right here. It's the only cooler that Yeti makes that has wheels on it. Great for pier fishing, great for getting out and going on the beach. You can tug it down the sand. It's not gonna get stuck on you. And it's a lot easier to haul along than to carry a bunch of drinks in here. Still has the dividers in here where you can separate whatever you need to. I wanna talk about my new partnership with Luz. The most advanced rod I've ever had designed for me in my entire life. When I told Bob Brown, who's the rod designer here at Luz, what I wanted in a rod, nice soft tip, good parabolic bend, and a nice strong butt, he hit every nail on the head. And one thing you're gonna notice with the M2 series rods is we went with wave spin guides. Now what the wave spin guide enables you to do, if you can think back when you were a kid and have those push button reels and you're able to cast it you know, a, a mile and a half, it seemed like when you were a little kid, that's because the line was not hitting each section in between each guide, which means there's less friction, you're gonna get more distance. Now what the new wave spin guide here is gonna do is the exact same thing. Once it comes off the spool of the reel, it shoots through the guide right here and then it shoots it through each one of the micro guides. It gives you a better accuracy when you're casting and a lot further distance. And you're gonna be able to be in contact with the fish a lot more because the line is much closer to the rod and there's a lot more guides on here, so you're gonna really feel what the rod is doing to that fish. And if you tell me, say, hey, micro guides don't work in salt water, learn the new FG knot because that knot will slide through these micro guides like a hot knife through butter, pretty much. And uh, if you say, well, the FG knot's too hard to learn, think about when you went back and tried to learn that uni to uni knot that you can tie in your sleep now. I've done the FG knot so many times, I can literally do it with my eyes closed, 30 mile an hour winds, tie it in my sleep, standing on the boat with one leg. It's an easy knot to tie, and I think it's the strongest knot in the world. And you're not going to get any hang-ups right here with the knot. So when you get a chance to, check out the new M2 series by Luz, Captain Blair Wiggins Inshore Series. I want to show you something super cool. I don't know why nobody has come up with this before, but leave it at TH Marine. They come up with some really cool stuff that you can use on your boat. This is a Hydra Terminal Multiplier. Instead of having to stack all your electrical terminals up on one post right here, this one here has five attachment points and what that's gonna do, it's gonna make a better connection and if you ever have to go and take off any of your electronics, it's a lot easier to take one off instead of taking a whole stack off. It comes in a, I wanna say a five lug and a three lug and absolutely makes your electronic, when you have to work on your electronics and take them off the battery, makes it much, much easier. If you don't know who Seaguar is, they are the makers and inventors of fluorocarbon line. I've been using it since day one when it came out. I was like, fishing line that disappears in water, right? And they're like, yes, yeah, it'll disappear in the water. And I stuck it in a glass of water and literally you could barely see it. So I can imagine what it does in the water, especially with the new gold label that's out. I've been using the blue label, the premier label, and now they've just come out with the gold label. And what you're first gonna notice about this stuff is how thin in diameter it is. It is so much smaller than say the Blue Label or the Premier. And um, we actually fooled a guy down in the Keys here a while back. We were shooting a show for bonefish. Has to be the most sought after fish in the Keys. It's what we call a glamour fish. So everybody wants to catch these fish. But he wanted to use 12 to 15 pound test fluorocarbon 
on the on the fish, and I, all I had was 20. The gold label comes on 20 through 40 pound test, and all I had was 20. They don't make the 15, so I told him, I said, here you go, and I just stripped the piece off, and he goes, oh, okay, we'll use that. He did not know it was 20 pound test until I told him. Incredible stuff. And one thing you're gonna notice about is how soft and pliable this line is. You're gonna be able to tie knots just as you would with the Premier or the uh, Blue Label. It's just a lot easier to tie it because it's very, very pliable. Two more things you're gonna notice from Seaguar this year. They do have a high viz, and this is the Seaguar Smackdown. And they also, if you don't like the high viz, they make the Smoke Gray, and it's both Smackdown. I've been using it for years. And like I said, it's the thinnest, strongest uh, braid I've ever used in my entire life. The diameter of, of the Smackdown, if you're using, say, 15 pound test of the Smackdown, the diameter of it, I compare it to like another braid company's eight pound test. It is absolutely the thinnest and smoothest line you'll ever put on your reels. We got Dave Bertolozzi here from Eagle Claw, Laser Sharp, and the best hooks in the world, Trocar. Show me a brand new Trocar hook that he came up with, and uh, I'm gonna let him tell you a little bit about it, but I cannot wait to use this little dude right here. All right, so previously Trocar, one of our first hooks we actually launched was an octopus hook for both freshwater and saltwater. Prior to this hook, it was the same wire diameter for freshwater and saltwater. The only difference was the piece count. So what we did to make truly a saltwater octopus hook was actually beef up the wire diameters and go considerably thicker wire diameter than before. So now our 3.0 is a diameter of between our old 4.0 and 5.0. So it's going to be the same size, same gap but we actually bent the point in to add a little bit of strength and the wire diameter is going to be beefed up as well. These are available in size 1 aught through 7 aught and they're available now, the TK24, the HD Octopus hook from Trocar. Should be a good hook. You're going to see me pull in some fish on this one this year for sure. Thanks for tuning in, y'all.